welcome back to JSA TV. Jamie, thank you so very much for inviting me. It's always an honor to be here with you at JSA TV. Oh, thank you, and thank you all for speaking today. Your insight on streaming media, opportunities, demands, always amazing. And uh, you really bring that, that sub-sea uh, perspective to the table. I just adore it. Thank you so much. No, oh, thank you for inviting me. It was a lot of fun, and I think that we've heard um, from different people, different participants in the value chain, their perspective of what's coming, and it's exciting times for anybody in the space. Yeah, it really is. It really is. In 2020, it's a gangbuster. Can't wait. So let's get back to 2019 and how you guys have been tearing it up. I think it's seven awards in total that you've won just this year alone. Is that crazy? Yeah, that is, um, it's amazing, and I'm so proud of the Globner team. The fact that in, in different venues we're being recognized for the quality of our work, the service that we deliver, the innovation that we have put into the market, it's great. So we're actually honored to have, been, to have received those awards. Uh, well, it, I mean, it's, it's clear and well deserved. I think the entire industry would join me in saying that. You, um, of course, have Malbec. Not just a fabulous wine, may we say, but Globenet's new 2,500-kilometer subsea cable to Argentina with Facebook. Um, so recently, you guys won Best America's Project for, for Malbec. Tell us a little bit more about that. Well, we did. I think um, the idea of Malbec has, is, is not new. It's how we're implementing, I think, that, that is great. Um, we're in a joint build agreement with Facebook, and it's all about partnerships, right? And Part of our DNA at Globemart is to embrace partnerships, and this is a, a great example of, of what you can actually do. Um, it's a fun project. It actually completes a, a vision that we've had for, for many, many years to be able to extend the network uh, into Argentina. You may recall that we did something similar back in 2013 where we extended our network to Colombia, and we're in the middle of, of the actual construction cycle. We're going to start laying early next year. So around mid-2020, we're going to land the first cable in Argentina after some, you know, since the early 2000s. So it's been over 20 years, right? So cool. Yeah, it's very, very cool. All right. So uh, I also hear that you're the infrastructure value chain, if you will. Can you tell us about some projects we might see soon? Sure. So, so let me tell you first about um, some of the other things that we're doing that have helped us win some of these accolades. Um, in, in our Fortaleza facility, um, which has been with us since the, let's say, the genesis of Globenet, um, we've actually um, converted a dual cable lining station into a true carrier neutral interconnect facility. And I think what what has set us apart, let's say, from others that have tried, is really that neutrality, mm -hmm. right? Being carrier friendly, every single local provider is in our facility. And the fact that we built a partnership again, and this time with uh, IXPR, to deploy, um, to deploy it in our facility in Fortaleza made, made a huge um, difference. Uh, Northern Brazil has been one of the fastest growing um, areas in Brazil from an economic perspective. Um, there's a series of new network providers that, that have emerged over the last, let's say, five or ten years, but mainly over the last five. And we have them all as our customers and partners in the facility, right? And again, it's this model of, you know, being carrier neutral, um, being carrier friendly, um, setting the right the right goals in where we said, look, this is what we're going to do. This is how you're going to interconnect. Uh, it's clear to everybody that wants to come in, and we're, we're lucky that we have several uh, major content providers that have also selected a facility to have a pop there just because of that, right? So I think that's that's another example of how we're going from your traditional, let's say, subsea. Um, service provider, right, international subsidy service provider, to look at, you know, what's next? You know, how do I grow that value chain? How do I leverage the assets that I have? And how do I leverage our, our origins of an infrastructure company, right? The other thing that, that we did um, is we built a, a small-scale data center in Barranquilla in Colombia. And so that, that was our genesis to look at the data center space, right, where we see that, that having that neutrality is important. And and we are definitely looking at that space as a growth area for the company. It, it's the neutrality, but it's also having um, clear set uh, rules, right? Mm -hmm. This is how you're going to interconnect. This is where you're going to interconnect. Um, not, hey, let's be creative and just, you know, 
hook up in the in the beach man or the manhole, not the beach manhole, the manhole. No, it's but to say you're going to come in here, you're going to set, you know, put your rack here, your rack here. This is, you know, the cost for your cross connect. All that stuff needs to be clear, mm -hmm. and then you start attracting people because you're you're fair, you're neutral, right? And then you get back. Oh, density. oh, abs absolutely, and that's why I mean we've converted Fortaleza into a major network interconnect hub for the region. That's amazing. Uh, so, so needed as well. All right. So, looking forward to the new year, what is ahead in 2020? Um, 2020 for us is a very important year. I mean, we already mentioned Malbec, the landing of a new cable into a new geography, into a new country. That in itself is huge. Right, Cute. so so that's let's say our number one milestone for for 2020, uh, mid 2020 to complete. Let's say our landing, right? Um, but but beyond that, um, I do believe that there's other things that we're working on. We continue to do network upgrades um, throughout our uh, throughout our system. Um, we continue to establish further partnerships. Uh, you may recall that years ago. Um, you know, we, we looked outside the box and we said, or thought outside the box and said, how can we service Manaus? And for that, we also right. got an award yes. uh, many years ago uh, that you may recall. And so we're looking at similar regions. Uh, I'll disclose them at the right time, right. right? Where we're extending network services, again, through partnerships. So I think it's a combination, and, and it's really part of our DNA that we've had for years, is you, you partner with terrestrial providers, you partner with service providers, you partner let's say with OTT such as Facebook, and you're building that ecosystem that makes it attractive for others to want to be there. Absolutely. And, and that's what we're working on. So Globenet 2020, another year of more headlines, more growth for you. I'm so excited, Eric, as always. And I'm so proud of our team, and I thank our customers for entrusting in our network their services. Yeah. It's all about that. It really is. Thank you Thanks so much. much for joining us and being here. Thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV. Happy networking.